The first one is a question of resources. Supreme Court judges will this afternoon rule if the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission should produce a manual marked register used during the March 4th general election for scrutiny. This follows an application filed by one of the petitioners, Africa Center for Open Governance, which is also supported by lawyers representing the main petitioner, Prime Minister Raila Odinga. I'm not that is emphasized. During this morning's proceedings, the matter elicited intense arguments between lawyer George Oraro for Raila, Keith Kilonzo for AFRICOG, and IEBC's Paul Nyamodi. While Raila's lawyers insist that it is imperative to have the marked register for scrutiny, IEBC's legal team says it will require up to 10 days for them to produce it. Nyamadi, who is appearing for IEBC, says the application seeking production of the register was only produced yesterday and the IEBC is constrained with time to heed the request. My Lord, the information is available, but it would require some time and it would require an order of this court, as is usual, to break the seals in the ballot boxes where those registers are, remove the tamper-proof envelopes, open them, as provided, or, uh, 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 as provided by Regulation 93, and then have them delivered to, to court. According to the Commission, that would take a week to 10 days to do. However, Senior Counsel Oraro, who is representing Raila in the petition, says the production of the register is imperative because it will help the parties understand and carry out a thorough scrutiny of the electoral process. There is no need the IEBC insisting that this is merely a notice to produce and therefore we ought not to produce a document which is necessary for the purposes of determining the issue before you. Second issue, my Lord, is that the register is part of the election material and under Regulation 2073, uh, part of the material to be sealed and retained for future purpose is the MAC register. Lawyer Keith Kilonzo for the Africa Center for Open Governance too insists that the IEBC ought to produce the register for accountability purposes. This court of its own motion can request for the production of those marked registers, the manual marked registers. And it is my humble submission that it is in the interest of justice that those marked manual registers are produced and kept in the custody of this court.